สวัสดีค่ะ Hello guys this is another episode of English Chit Chat ฝึกฟังภาษาอังกฤษ 90% where I speak 90% in English so you can practice listening and interacting in English here only at ฝรั่งอังมอสวัสดีค่ะพี่โพ Hello it's been a while a while means a week <laughs> For all English chit chat, you and me were going to temporarily forget all the grandma rules and all the fear of making mistakes and just trying to use the language. Because I myself always, always do a lot, make a lot of mistakes. So English chit chat is number one for me to get over my fear of making mistakes, and number two, hopefully, it can help you get over your fear of making mistakes. As well, and to see that we can talk, understand, communicate, just fine. Hi! <laughs> if you're here, if you're here, please say hi. <laughs> okay. Today, ladies and gentlemen, is once again. It comes around every single month. We have Q and A. So, waiting for your questions for today. สวัสดีค่ะโย o ย o ย o we were just texting <laughs> okay um สวัสดีค่ะคุณเอิร์ดว้าว we have a lot of people from YouTube nowadays คุณสุภาสวัสดีค่ะคุณ K A M O N ค่ะกากามนคุณฮารารินฮายคุณน้ำเทาน้ำน้ำน้ำเทาน้ำ I'm sorry Hi Hi สวัสดีค่ะ All right ladies and gentlemen uh, Today is again every single month we have a Q and A but I have a question for you first because I'm so excited uh, It's been a year already since we uh, start this. I think last year, I think it was probably around Valentine's Day, and now this year's come around again. So we have been doing the English chit chat for about a year already. Yay! I don't have a anniversary with a boyfriend, so I have anniversary with you guys. <laughs> okay, so what have you learned? My question, yeah. What have you learned from English chit chat? So far, and uh, yeah, what have you learned from English chit chat? Like maybe like a years ago, like just like yeah. <laughs> what have you learned? Anything you learned from English chit chat? Something that you just knew, or any uh, tips, techniques, stuff, or inspiration? Maybe that you have learned from English chit chat that we have been doing this for over a year now, and. I'm just really, really proud to be this part, like to be a part of this community. ทำไมนะพูดเร็วอะน้อวันนี้เพราะว่าเพราะว่าเพิ่งสอนสปีกเรียนรีจบก็เลย But yeah, I'm really, really proud to be a part of this community where we practice English together, sharing mindset, inspiration, a lot of great discussion has been going on on this platform. So thank you. For giving me this opportunity to be a part of you all. <laughs> okay, all right. So, hello, hello. Uh, good evening. Hi, hello. Good evening. Wow, we have a lot of. How are you, c l u b I'm doing amazing. Great. So far, so good. Yeah, everything, everything is great. Okay, what have you learned from English chat so far? Not like not today, but. Overall, as we have been doing this for over a year, the things that I learn from you guys actually, I learn a lot from you guys as well. So I'm not only teaching; I'm learning a lot from you guys. Is the things that I thought that, like we sometimes we discuss about people not being able to use English. What I realize is that given the safe environment, the safe platform where you are. Feel proof, like you feel okay, you feel safe to to make mistakes. Um, actually, you are you are more capable than you think you are. 
Yeah. So people will come to me like, oh, people don't use English at all. Actually, we all just seek for ways to use English. ทุกคนนะอยากอยากมีที่ที่ให้ฝึกใช้ภาษาอังกฤษทั้งนั้นแหละแต่ถ้าเกิดสมมุติว่าเรามีที่ที่เรารู้สึกว่าเออเราสามารถใช้ภาษาอังกฤษได้อย่างสบายใจแล้วก็คุยกันแบบ you know everyday stuff anything I think we can do that much better so yeah it's great for me <laughs> okay คุณอิสระพง said uh, I got some inspirations and suggestions thank you that's amazing to hear that um, I learned how to Pronounce some words from here. Wow! Thank you. Oh, this one. I'm so humble by that. I've learned that you are truly amazing. <gasps> thank you. Thank you. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. Now, um, let's do your your turn to ask a question. Do you have any questions for me? Please send in your question. Yeah. Please send in your questions. Uh, for today, we're gonna answer. Again, for English to chat, we answer all kinds of questions in English, and we can discuss about each of them. Maybe, yeah, together. Tan ta tan tan tan. You probably thinking you you maybe you don't think, but I'm just gonna talk about it anyway. Uh, this is I'm in the angle where uh, speak brilliantly online course. So this online course about. Uh, Public speaking and presentation. I'm just gonna stand up like this. So I've been standing up for over 20 hours for the past days. Yeah, or more, like 30 hours so far, standing up and teaching because it's public speaking. So you guys are. Uh, this is this will be your camera angle view when you take the course. <laughs> okay, let's see. All right. Okay, Kun Harin said, "I learn listening from here." Wow! Thank you. That's amazing. That's amazing. Um, you make me feel that English is fun. Oh, thank you. Being with you guys, talking to you guys is fun. <laughs> okay. 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 This one. And you know, I got okay. You familiarize yourself with English conversation. Right, that's amazing, amazing. Okay, that's great, that's great. What did you do on Valentine's Day? What What are the the things I was gonna? I was thinking actually of doing something about Valentine's Day, but then I don't really know what to do. <laughs> Seriously, when I post, I publish a post saying I don't. I don't feel the pressure to do anything for Valentine's Day at all. Not at all. No pressure at all. Actually, it was super pressure. I feel like I should do something because I scroll on my social media, and then everybody is doing a anything with like love related, and I feel bad because I'm not doing anything. But then I didn't do it anyway. <laughs> lame, kind of lame. <laughs> okay. Ah, Kun Beer said I have learned many techniques from your video, especially listening. So happy to hear that. Okay. Ah, Kun Pantakan, Pantakan, Chimeha. Do you know how to debate in English? I have presentation in Wednesday. I love debate. I mean, I look very. I, I may seem like a very peaceful person, but I think it's a bit most intellectual. <laughs> um, not intellectual. Yeah, you can say um, cognitive. Yeah, cognitive, kind of. Exercise activities to do. So yeah, yeah, a little, a little. I have like a little bit of things to share. Um, but yeah, just have fun. My my first thing is to have fun with it. Um, to see all the options available. To think outside of the box when you do your argument. If you think about whether this argument that you are going to do a rebuttal, right? You have. To do a rebuttal, it's like some you say something, somebody says something, so you have to rebuttal that and you know propose your arguments. Uh, learn to think outside of the box and also learn to test your ideas. Yeah, if you are going to let's say you propose this one argument that hey, it's like this, it's a yes, it's a no, it's a good, it's a bad. You want to think about what their 
um, arguments might be, what the opposing arguments might be, and test your ideas. How can you make that thing even stronger? Yeah, how could, can you make that argument stronger? Uh, how can you make, even though they rebut that, that idea, you still can say like, your argument, your uh, opponent's um, opposing view might be true, but my argument is better. So that's what you want to do. <laughs> yeah. If you want to go into specific, please send in more questions. Yeah. What do you think about Clubhouse, a new app? I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't really know what that is. Can you, can you please, uh, can you please help me get to know it? I've seen it like on social media, but I, I have absolutely no idea. Please don't call me lame, but I really have no idea what it is. What, why is it a thing? Is it a, it's a thing, right? Why? What, what's, what's, what's it like? <laughs> Please enlighten me. I have no idea. Seriously, I've been in a, in a cave. I'm a cave woman. Okay. Kun Natapan Hello, teacher. I'm new here. Welcome. Here's my question. How can I improve my speaking? My ears are so good. When it comes to speaking, it takes forever to process. We always have this question, and I'm happy to answer it again and again because I think it's very... Uh, important um, and we have this I think almost every month um, but it's true because the process of taking in information is being repeated many more times than the process of processing things out and speaking right so the most simple ways that <laughs> the simplest way that I can answer to this question is how do we balance between your input and output activities the number of times that you listen, listen, take in information. And if you listen to this level and you want to be able to speak to this level that you can understand and comprehend uh, uh, information, you want to just double, triple practices of speaking. Now, when it comes to speaking or writing, I understand that it's very weird <laughs> to to just do it alone when you don't have like a talking conversation partner. Uh, but it's, I think it's a skill to be able to use this alone, whether or not, and don't wait for somebody else to try to fulfill that task. Maybe you can talk about, let's say, I, I recently share about this. Let's say you're making a cup of coffee. Uh, so you want to explain to yourself, describing the process. For example, you go to make your coffee. So you start, I don't know, boiling the water. So, uh, okay, I'm just going to, uh, you know, put out the cup. Uh, okay, I put out the cup. I take out the cup. I like this one. Okay, and um, I'm going to, um, okay, pour some water into the kettle. And then I would just press here. Okay, now the water is ready. I just pour the water into my cup. I put the coffee uh yeah, coffee. So I would just tear this and I put down, um, uh, I pour it in again. Should I add some sugar? Okay, let me add some sugar. Hey, nom, nom, nom. Ah, milk, milk, milk. Should I add milk? Mm, maybe I don't like milk. Nah, I'm okay. All right. Um, now I'm gonna try it. Oh, it smells good. Blah, blah, blah. You describe to yourself. If it go to another level, I'm assuming seeing from your message, um, I think you're probably pre-intermediate and above. So I think maybe you probably want to start developing the dialogue with yourself. <laughs> and I know it's going to sound really weird, but the more times you try to do it and talk by yourself, you become limitless into your own learning abilities. Yeah, so you don't have to wait for someone else to be talking with you. You can talk with yourself. Like me, I'm literally talking to myself, to the camera. <laughs> you can do it too. Yeah, you can do it too. So you want to increase the practice where you get to speak out more because it's the action of retrieving whatever information is being stored, process it, comes out as spoken language, and then you're good to go. The only way to get really good at that is to work on it again and again and again. The duration doesn't really matter. Yeah, today maybe you may do like five minutes, 10 minutes. Tomorrow, again, five minutes, 10 minutes. 
It doesn't really matter how long, but you want to do it again and again and again and count the number of times. Maybe set the goal for yourself like 10 times, 20 times, and you will start to see the result. Yeah. All the best. I hope that answer your questions. Oh, okay. Questions keep flooding in. Okay, 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 okay. Where, 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 where now? Okay, let me see. Ah, Kun Pong Sagan said, I love debate too. I, I think it's quite, I think it's quite uh, interesting. And I think it helps us develop, sharpen our ideas and develop our arguments. And I think what people often confuse at debate, you need to have this very like, ha, oh, don't you dare, <laughs> that kind of sentiment. But actually, no, you use this logical reasoning to really show that, okay, I accept whatever you say, but this is my point as well. And I think it helps in, in you know, daily life kind of thing as well. Okay, very interesting question from Pima Win. Yeah, hi. Okay, um, so this is our one student from Speak Brilliantly. Yes, what's the best way to practice English accent? Shadowing. To me, a lot of brain soaking and shadowing are still two top um, um, practices. Yeah, for me, these are like the main techniques. When it comes to um, you know, practice, I would say pronunciation for me, I didn't learn by, oh, ooh, I'm going to sound exactly American. Uh, I didn't learn it like that. I learned through my, <laughs> you can say passion, my joy of consuming the media, the American YouTube videos, movies, all these things. And as I learned to consume them, I just which, which I didn't know that it's called imitation technique or shadowing. I didn't know what it means, but I just really want to sound like this person. So what I start doing is we pause the video or pause movie or whatever. And then I start copying whatever that person said exactly like that. If there's like, if there's like these words, then I will try to make the sounds closest to what I just heard. So maybe somebody say something like I'm, Let's say, I don't care. Let's say, let's say, let's say I listen to a YouTube video and I really like this YouTuber. So I don't care. I pause it. I don't care. 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 So that it's closest to the sounds. And I think most of us, most of our um, English teachers or people who use English and practice by themselves, I think these are probably the main uh, practice we do. Yeah. All the best. Oh, we actually have that kind of lesson in the course, Speak Brilliantly, so you can get it from there too. <laughs> ah, Kun Nang said, Nang Nang, right? Uh, I like to listen when you're speaking. Thank you. It's my biggest dream to be like when I'm speaking. People usually like when I'm quiet or not. <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 Another, another student of Speak Brilliantly Cause, Pewdie. <laughs> Actually, what's really surprised me is that for this course, Speak Brilliantly is probably the course with, with the proportion of um, men are, 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 are a little bit higher. Usually our courses are full with like, you know, uh, uh, Ladies, the ladies, but there are more gentlemen in this in this course somehow. I don't know why, but welcome all. <laughs> Overcome fear of using English in social media and got many useful tips. Oh, you mean you mean in English chat, right? Thank you. I'm very happy to hear that. Okay. When I'm curious, my nose will just expand. <laughs> Ah, P. Kun, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing you're P. 
คุณเอกสิทธิ์เจ็ Clubhouse is a trendy app. It looks like a seminar online. You can raise hand up to ask a question. There will be many room to talk to. After discussion, all content will be gone. Oh, interesting. I have absolutely no idea what that is. And I think if if there's like a big incident going on right now, I would have absolutely no idea. Seriously, because uh, I've been in a cave for over a month now. So yeah. Thank you for enlightening me. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, Kun Sirora, Sirora, right? Okay. Um, hello, first time watching live. Now I started a new relationship with a foreigner guy. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, how can I use English with more feeling? With more feeling? Like, how can you express your feeling? Right? In words? Am I right? You do that by gaining certain types of input. For me, yeah. I, um, I have a hard time expressing my thoughts and my feeling in Thai. A very hard time. If you ask me what I think about this thing or what I feel about this certain subject, I have a hard time this expressing myself in Thai. I think that partly is because I learned to express and elaborate and you know, explain things in English from the very beginning. Uh, so I will be, you know, watching, consuming things, ways to express myself in English more than in Thai. So uh, for me, I think the the most important thing is to consume or take the input in the in the context that you want to use. For example, you know for sure that um, you will have to use English for. Uh, for workplace, let's say, if you want to use English in your workplace, you want to consume something that maybe a movies, maybe talk, speech, podcast that talks about the vocabulary, that talks about expressions that you use in this context in work in in your office. If you want to use certain, you want to learn more, you want to be able to use uh, words to express your feelings more. You probably need some input that has to do with how you describe your feeling. Yeah, so maybe music. Yeah, music. It's one source. Yeah, you know exactly how do I say that? Because uh, because well, all of me love all of you. What does it mean? Or like, how many times do I have to tell you? Even when you cry, you look beautiful too, or something like that. Or like, I don't know what 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 are the songs that are trendy now? I don't even know any songs these days. Um, I don't know any new songs. <laughs> My heart will go on. Um, so these are the expressions that it's very specific to certain certain context, right? So you wanna take up that music, poem, maybe um, some uh, YouTube channels about relationship. I don't know. All these things are uh, romantic movies. These would be your source of input that you want to focus on. Yeah. Uh, for me, I really love um, public speaking. I love public speaking and presentation. So my source of income is a uh, source of income. <laughs> Mother Nan, source of learning would be TED Talks, would be like English speeches, all these things, UN speeches, all all of that thing, so that I learn more. Oh, so people use words like this, phrases like this for public speaking. You know, yeah, pretty much like that. Okay. Does that answer your question? Okay. All right. Oh, wow. We have so many great, <laughs> interesting questions. Kun Nu Mis, Insight. Hello, what's the best way for applying US visa or US visa interview? I have to go to do it soon. Kindly assist to advise me, please terrible at this i don't have the the uh the the specialized knowledge to answer this actually yeah i don't have a, when i apply i apply for for studying abroad which is like a, a a program my experience with uh visa interview is actually they just asked me 
the person just asked me like two questions. Have you read the handouts or something? You know all the instructions? I was like, yes. Where are you going? I was saying like Wisconsin, Madison. And they were like, oh, okay, you go. <laughs> But some people, they just ask so many questions. Like where are you gonna go? What are you gonna do? Like how long are you gonna stay? Do you have a place to stay already? Um, so I think it's best to list, maybe list out all the questions that you might be asked and try to like maybe, I don't know, this is like me, you know, thinking maybe it's a good idea, but I think it will be best if you answer a person that have done the similar kind of interviews already. Uh, mine was so simple. I have all the things prepared. Um, so I think maybe just prepare what could be asked um, in there. You can Google it, I think, um, the list of questions. And just like any kind of interview, you want to uh, start preparing your answers and, you know, And, and just rehearse saying it, rehearse speaking it. And when you're there, just let it flow. Yeah, let it flow. Okay. I personally, I oh, I shouldn't say this, but personally, I feel if you have a, enough uh, good purpose, good intention, and enough documents, I think you should be good to go. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> could you please, uh, could you advise some tips to read books? Sometimes I read books and found out the vocab vocabulary I didn't know. Should I open dictionary or read the whole chapter first? Ah, this one is very interesting. Actually, it depends. It depends. When I first start practice reading, and a lot of things are really complicated, reading very complex vocabulary, whole another world, but there are just too many of them yeah too many if i were to translate things i would have to translate every single word and that just obstruct the whole pleasure and and the whole learning journey itself so what i did was was to know enough to get a gist so maybe i don't translate everything or find out everything i just um find out like a keywords, maybe just some words that I think if I know this, I would get the better picture of the whole thing. If you read it and you kind of understand what it means, you can, you get a gist of the whole paragraph, you might want to continue unless you feel like, Hey, that's very interested, uh, very, very interesting. Um, I should just, maybe I want to use this too. Then you want to find that out. And then also learn this by writing this down, this phrase that you learn, but write as a whole phrase, yeah? Write as a whole phrase. And then when you write the whole phrase, um, just see how you can be, it can be used in a context so that you're not just great at reading, you're also great at writing something or speaking something, yeah? So it really depends. If you want to know, if you feel like it's going to help fulfill the understanding, uh, you can find that out. If it doesn't, really hinders the pleasure of reading yeah you can do it but if there's so many of them to find out but you kind of like you kind of you can guess it and if you have to keep finding it out it's like kind of like oh i'm not even i'm not even reading anymore i'm not enjoying this anymore then do it in moderation i think thank you this is okay this is very interesting How's your Valentine's Day, Pikana? What do you mean? How's your, how's your Valentine's Day? I didn't do anything. I just coop up in my room all day long from 10 o'clock until midnight to work through, you know, the whole day. Yeah, that's my Valentine's Day. If that's what you're curious about. Yeah, I'm, I'm miserable. Yeah, not miserable. I'm happy. I'm really happy. It's just that um, it's not like other people Valentine's Day, maybe. <laughs> But I like it. I love my job. I'm in a great relationship with my work. That's all I have to say. <laughs> okay. uh, ah, Hun Su. Su. Tata. I forgot every time when I have to speak English, mm -hmm. it's very, it's a lot of problem. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I always say this and I understand. Even until this point, I still forget things. There will be words like, eh, I read this before, I heard this before, but I couldn't think about it. Um, 
The main problems with our memory is not the memorization; it's the retrieval. Yeah, the retrieval is actually taking out and pulling that information in your head to use. Yeah, and、uh, it's there somewhere. You learn this. If you get to learn it again, you will realize, ah,、oh, well, I have seen this before. I heard this before. I know what it means. But when you're gonna use it, it was just where's it gone, right? So the main problems with memory is not taking in the information to stuck here to stick here. It's actually taking it out to use. Where is it? Where is it in my head? Which part of it is in my head? You cannot take it out. So the again, just like speaking ability, if you want to be able to speak more fluently, have things in your head to use more, you have to tell your brain that hey, these sets of information, these vocabulary, these grammar structure are important for me. Eh, it's important. Remember, please, please, I need to use it. But you cannot just eh, I need it, I need it to your brain. So how does your brain know? Whether or not this is important, it knows when only you get to use it right away, as soon as you can, or often. Yeah. So if you get to use this set of、uh, information, you learn something, you use it right away. Your brain thinks, "Oh, this is important. Let me put in 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 the place where Kanaz can get this out easily." But if you learn it once, you never use it. It's just there. But your brain thinks. And she didn't use it. She probably it's not probably probably not that important. Then it's not it's gonna go away. It's somewhere, but you cannot retrieve it out. So by using it right away, by applying it to something, by adding personal connection to it, or by using it often, frequently, is where your brains will start remembering or retrieving that information better. Yeah. So use more. <laughs> All is to say, use more. Yeah. Um, in any kind of context, okay. The get great things about me. If I let's say I graduate, let's say let's say that if I were I I graduate from Mahidol University International College, and it's international college, we learn everything in English. But I can assure you, if I didn't work as、uh, an English teacher, teaching English, talking into English, if my job requires me to only use my Thai, I would forget. A lot of things. I might still be able to hold like basic conversation,、uh, to go here and there, but my fluency would drops too. So it's all about being able to use again and again. Okay. All right. I really like this one. Okay. Kun apa pat nut cemeha nut. Yeah. Hi. I wonder how to speak or use hard vocabulary. To explain things, I normally use only easy words to describe things during speaking or writing. Do you have some tips for knowing more words to use in daily life?、Um, P.S. I love listening to your voice. You help me lots in English speaking and listening. Thanks. Thank you.、Um, the fancy kind of vocabulary, of course, comes from another set of input. Going back again to input output. If you want to have these kind of words that you use, the input that you consume often should also be something. And I always tell my student in English for Career Development that you need to start consuming something more specific, more you know deep in in business, deep in、um, the field, the research, blah blah blah, whatever、um, in that that specific field, yeah, in order to gain the vocabulary. And not just that, gaining those vocabulary, you have to have somewhere to use it, right? But it seems like to me, I assume that you get to use English already. So what I really recommend is whatever the things that you have heard, maybe from source of learning, if YouTube videos or vlogs or music is not enough, you probably have to expand to other sources of listening or reading. As well, maybe TED Talk, maybe some journal, maybe some article,、uh, online articles, maybe some books, some audio books, podcasts, all these things that you might get the your the kinds of vocabulary you want, and then you want to apply this into the place that、um, into into the context that you want to use. Yeah. So maybe let's say today you learn three or four words 
from the audio books you listen to, you want to use it right away. Maybe you write a summary, maybe you record your video talking, summarizing the chapter you just read. All these things you can do. Um, but yeah, it's still the same principle, but another source of input. Like just now we have someone who wants to express feelings better in English. So then the source of input would be somewhere that you can get the vocabulary and phrases to do with expressing feeling. For complex uh, sentences, sophisticated, fancy words, it comes from usually. Um, I learn a lot in English. So if you ask me difficult, hard vocabulary in Thai, I would be like, what's that? <laughs> Because I consume stuff, um, the, 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 the complicated things in, in English. And uh, one of my weaknesses is still expressing myself in Thai. I can do it. I can do it. I'm just not as comfortable expressing myself, my ideas and my thoughts in Thai as much as I do in English. Yeah. So, so yeah, um, it comes from reading a lot. It comes from audio books and all those things. So yeah, that, that will be, that will be, I hope it's helpful. I hope that answered your question or not. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Me podcast, my ha. Yeah, me when gun ha. I have a lot of people have been asking for this. We're gonna do it. We want to do it. Coming soon. I'm, that's all I can say. A coming soon. <laughs> ah, another thing about uh, debate. Yeah, I learned debate with American teacher. Um, it's really fun, and we can communicate to others. Exactly. I love it. I love it too. Um, How to create the brain to think in English? No, you can take the course Think in English. Just kidding. Um, act of, yeah, if you want to consider the course, of course. But the main principle is actually to immerse. Number one is to immerse yourself in English speaking environment, like right now that you are here. And also number two is how do we process the thoughts without translating? The thing is that we probably have to forget all the methods we learn, learning how to learn new ways, learn new ways to learn the language in the ways that you don't have to have the medium of translation. Yeah, I think you probably already know English to a certain degree. Could have ma but oh A B C le na ah แปล ได้ไม่มีปัญหาแปลได้เลยนะคะเรียนจากการอ๋ออันนี้อันนี้ Apple อันนี้แปลว่าอันนี้ White อันนี้ Black It's okay. But as you use English for a while, if you really want to gain full fluency and the thought process to be faster, you probably have to take out the medium of, you know, of the the translating. This thing translate to this thing because this obstructs the process of thinking things in English. Yeah. So you need to maybe start immersing yourself, brain soaking in English. Number one. Number two is um, to to really like, yeah, take out the translation part in many many cases and learning things from context, learning things from situation. You watch a movie. Ah, they use these phrases in this situation where we feel like this to this person. Why? Not. Oh, มันแปลว่าอย่างนี้ But oh, they use it. How? How do they use it in this situation? So you become the baby to that new language that you want to learn. Yeah, you become the baby. So you oh okay oh mama say mama say mum 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 mama say mum mum when mama say mum mum. I know there's food. I smell the food. I know my 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 stomach starts like. I know that my mom's gonna feed me. I know it's time to eat, mom, mom. Yeah. So you associate the word with the meaning, with the situation, with the context, with your mom, with personal connection, all these things. So if you are able to learn these words, these phrases, and expression from the context, from the situation, instead of translating words, um, it's going to help a lot to process. And all that to do left is is all like the gimmicks, all here and there. Yeah, I have put a lot of techniques. I think 10 techniques in, or more, probably more than that, 
in course uh, thinking English คิดเป็นภาษาอังกฤษพูดได้คล่องไม่ต้องท่องจำนะคะ but the main principle are still the same uh, that you probably have to help your brain to get into the situation of using it and processing things in English rather than translating simple as that okay all right could no miss thank you for your suggestion thank you for asking questions Kun Sirora, thanks for your answer. Thank you. I hope that okay. Tell my feelings more deeply. Ah, yeah. Romantic movies. Romantic movies is your go-to tools. Oh, ha! Could you share how to present a project in English in class? English, uh, speak willingly. Present. Uh, what's the, what's the name? <laughs> speak willingly. Excel at. Public speaking and presentation English, the best course ever. No, just kidding. Um, mm, there's so many things to work on. Not just pronunciation, not just the accent, not just the vocabulary, but also verbal communication as a whole and non-verbal communication as a whole. The things that help people want to listen to you is not. Only your perfect English. It's about how loud you speak sometimes, how soft you speak sometimes, how fast you go sometimes, how slow you go sometimes. When you know, uh, you know when to pause. You know when to start talking fast. All these things as well. So if you want to be a great presenter, consider all these non-verbal cues like how you do your hands, how you walk. How you look at the people, how you not always looking at script like this, like you're gonna like oh, or how you do your facial expression for ah, this is ah, all these things with you. So I think these are the things that are often overlooked when it comes to presentation, other than pronunciation, of course. Of course, you need great pronunciation. You need um. Uh, the content as well. So these are my additional suggestions to these things. That these are the components that are often overlooked. But in our course, we teach all of that. <laughs> yeah, but pretty much like that. So don't forget to look at these as well. Um, if you want, you can find your language role models. Yeah, somebody you can keep listening and imitating the way they talk, they present, they. Do a public speaking and just start imitating. That will be your fastest way. Yeah, all the best. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think that. I'm sorry again. Uh, again, I'm not able to answer everything. I'm very sorry. ขายเก่งไหมวันนี้พี่นุ่นบอกว่าขายเก่งนะวันนี้ขายเก่งทุกวัน Wow. I'm so. I'm so. I really appreciate everything. Uh, all it's been a year, and of course, if I start this English should chat, but nobody participate. If I'm the only one talking in English, then there's no point. So of course, thank you so much for spending this one year uh, using English with me, and you, not just me helping you. It's also you helping me to feel more confident about speaking freely. Uh, before, as I said from the very beginning of every English you chat, I make a lot of mistakes, and you know this in terms of grammar, pronunciation. I still pronounce something wrong, stress something wrong, use a uh, wrong grammar structure every single time. But I initiated this personally because I have this problem, and I feel like if people think that. English teacher like me speaking in front of camera of like 500 people right now, um, speak perfect English without making any mistakes. I'm going in the wrong direction of inspiring you to start taking action and use English. So, to me, it's really important uh, session and the things we have been continuing for a year. And I would like to thank you all again for being a part of this. Cool community we have of English to chat community. Okay, <laughs> all right. I'm probably gonna have to tie, uh, try try um, Clubhouse. Is that right? I have no idea what that is. I'm a cape cape woman, cape 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 lady. I don't know if that's a word. Okay. Well, uh, wow, there's so many interesting questions. I'm so sorry. We have this Q and A every single month. 
So please stay tuned. Yeah. Um, uh, now, if you would like to learn with us, of course, as I already um, make a lot of sales statements before, but there are many, many courses for that we offer for you from beginner's level. If you are in beginner's level, นะคะสำหรับใครที่ต้องการผู้พื้นฐานตั้งแต่เริ่มต้นเลยเนาะอยากให้พูดให้ฟังได้เก่งขึ้นอย่างเมื่อกี้มีเรื่องของการ express feeling ใช่ไหมคะมันจะมีอยู่ใน conversation อยู่นะคอร์สนี้นะคะก็จะมีตั้งแต่คอร์สพูดฝรั่งได้ดังเสกเนาะปูพื้นฐานทุกอย่างที่ต้องรู้ที่ธนาคิดว่าเพราะมันเป็นเรื่องที่ต้องรู้ที่ไม่ใช่เรื่องแบบ tense นี้ด้ดด้ด a lot of people ask me if I teach grammar I'm unfortunately I don't because the way that I learn my English I didn't do a lot of grammar and my grammar is still probably not that good but I was able to <laughs> communicate And I want to show you that that's what most important is to develop your fluency by using it repeatedly with learning how to learn. So in every courses of Fa Lang Ang Mo, we always, always the main principle is how you can keep learning and keep getting better, not just by remembering certain sentences and phrases, but also to have this mindset and also to be inspired to keep, you know, making changes to your skills. Yeah. So. พูดฝรั่งให้ดังเสกนะคะรวมทุกอย่างที่ต้องรู้เกี่ยวกับเรื่องของการพูดและการฟังนะคะแล้วก็ conversation จะเน้นในเรื่องของการสนทนาให้เลื่อนไหลมั่นใจร้อยเปอร์ if you're in this situation and we learn by situation by situation by situation เนี่ย we usually uh, teach about how you can converse more naturally ทำยังไงให้เราสามารถโต้ตอบกันได้อย่างดูเป็นธรรมชาติมากยิ่งขึ้นนะ not the things that you remember from a textbook and then just talk but something that you would use in a everyday life and also a pronunciation um, how you can speak more um, it's my 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 kind of pronunciation so I share all the tips all the techniques all the things that I think you should know because it would save a lot of my time to perfect <laughs> Not perfect, but improve my pronunciation. So that would be another course as well. So um, these all are designed and created by me. So usually, all the things that you get to learn is my kind of methods, and it's always the emphasis on learning how to learn. นะคะถ้าการเรียนแบบที่ผ่านมามันอาจจะแบบเรายังรู้สึกว่าเออมันแบบมันยังติดขัดอยู่นิดหน่อยหรือแบบเฮ้เราแบบยังไม่ไปได้เต็มที่อาจจะต้องลองเปลี่ยนวิธีการเรียนวิธีการฝึกของเราดูนะคะแล้วก็คอร์สที่เมื่อกี้มีคนพูดถึงใช่ไหมคอร์สที่มีเน้นในเรื่องของการคิดเป็นภาษาอังกฤษอย่างมากนะคะก็คือคอร์สนี้เลยคือเน้นเรื่องของการคิดและ process เป็นภาษาอังกฤษนะคะแล้วก็ใช้ภาษาอังกฤษให้คล่องมากยิ่งขึ้นเนาะอันนี้คือ think in English คิดเป็นภาษาอังกฤษพูดได้คล่องไม่ต้องคล่องจำชื่อโคตรยาวนะคะ that's another course we are opening our website Soon, yeah, soon. Speak brilliantly, students will get to learn it first, uh, and then followed by other students. Yeah, English for career development. ค่ะสำหรับใครที่ต้องใช้ภาษาอังกฤษที่ดู professional มากยิ่งขึ้นเป็นการทํางานมากยิ่งขึ้นอย่างที่น้าบอกเมื่อกี้นี่เนาะว่าเฮ้ยเราจะทำไงให้เรามีสับสวยๆนี่การพูดที่มันดูแบบอุ้ยมีชั้นเชิงมีความเป็นมืออาชีพ It will be in this course, English for Career Development, and teach English. It's cool. It's for those who are English tutors. Uh, teachers or someone who want to start teaching online now, uh -huh. and of course, who could forget? Not this one. This one. <laughs> this speak brilliantly, excel at public speaking and presentation in English. Do you know that I spend like twelve, thirteen hours every single day doing nothing, absolutely nothing, but this course? I've spent months and months. Doing this course, and I'm still proud to say that it's the best course I've ever created. Not because the other courses are not good, of course, but I'm specialized in this area. Uh, my, it's, it's. I think it's. I like to think that it's my area of expertise. So when I teach this course, I feel like I have everything to give you. It's all me. Like 90% of me is being put. In this course, I'm exercising my full potential. All of my experience of speaking in front of hundreds and thousands of people, all composed as this one, yeah, as this course. How do you know when to present? 
how to captivate the audience so that they want to keep listening to you. And it's not just the accent. People with the same accent could speak like this or some like, of course, American would speak better accent than mine. right? Um, but it's not just the accent somehow. It's also the tone of voice, the pitch, the accentuation, inflection, the stress, the intonation, the, the pause, uh, the volume, the loudness, pace, all these things. Yeah. So of course you want to be able to uh, go to see all the aspects of what makes you a great speaker, you know, of what makes you a more professional speaker when it comes down to when you have to deliver the message to a lot of people, yeah, which is not the same. You cannot use normal conversation language and style to to use on stage, right? Most of the time. So it's a whole different one. And I know it's very niche, น้องมันลงลึกสเปซิฟิกมากเฉพาะคนที่ได้ใช้จริงๆถึงควรเรียนนะคะคนที่คิดว่าเฮ้ยแพลนว่าฉันต้องได้ใช้ทักษะนี้
thank you so much i'm so sorry once again i'm so so sorry i will i'm not able to answer all the questions but but i will come around every single month so make sure to join us on every usually every monday um at around 9 p.m i will be here uh so yeah stay tuned i'm so sorry it's so it's so not regular but but yeah we'll be here every single month and i will try my best to try to answer most questions okay Thank you so very so so very much. So 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 very 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 much. <laughs> okay, thank you. Have a good night. All the best. I still hope that you still have this inspiring month, enjoyable month so far, and also successful year from now on. Thank you very much. Have a great night. Good night, great night. Bye-bye. And that's it for today. Bye.